Right, this is the uh, bottom end and crankcase assembly for what will be known as um, ASBO 46. It's a Royal Enfield, an Indian Royal Enfield 500 bottom end. We've already seen the crankshaft in the lathe between centres um, before and after splitting and lightening. And uh, this is the one that barely moved the uh, needles on the um, dial gauges at all before splitting and I really thought it was going to be a tough act to follow um, I did the best I could with it and it actually went back together so well that uh, a rise and fall of less than a thousandth of an inch was recorded on the clocks at the same point of rotation on the main shafts um, and that even really the one sort of eliminates the other one, cancels the other one out because they were at the same point of rotation but even so it was under a thousandth of an inch and it's been put together here, the crankcases are back together and bolted up we've got new main bearings in it throughout and I can actually push the conrod down the near bottom dead centre there and let it go and it comes back up, it's spinning so freely down the other way at the bottom there. I'll just give it a little start. There we are. Just give it a little tweak just to get it past bottom dead centre. Look at that coming up on its own there. Turning it easily between finger and thumb on the main shaft. Almost at bottom dead centre. Let go. That is spinning beautifully and freely. Couldn't ever wish for better than that. Quiet and smooth. That's going to make for a good, smooth running, lightened crank assembly and a rebuilt bottom end. So uh, this engine should be a really responsive and smooth engine. Um, I try and get them all as good as possible, but it really is quite something when you get what is, to all intents and purposes, no run out whatsoever. Um, it's like I say, if the thousandth of an inch on the main shaft had been at opposite points of rotation, it would have been an overall two thousandth of an inch run out, which would have been quite acceptable. But because we had under a thousandth of an inch and they, they were both at the same points of rotation, they cancel each other out, so you can actually say that there is no run out to speak of on this crank. So there we are, the bottom end engine assembly of ASBO 46, ready to be uh, built into a complete engine.